it is important to understand that this video is not an endorsement to drink alcohol. People have ruined lives with alcohol, so if you have any issues, please be brave enough to reach out for help. Many of us Wyomingites love beer, yet they choose to be responsible some of the time, but not all the time. The truth is, if you really love beer, you should not drink and drive. And here's why. One of our first talking points that we discuss with people is how, if you drive drunk, you can become a murderer within a second. Every year, people kill each other behind the wheel. Most of these people never imagine it could have happened to them, and then it does. Jail time, embarrassment, lost employment, living with the knowledge that you took someone's life away, leaving their family behind to think of you as the person who took their loved one's life. Add that in with the average four crashes each person has per lifetime, and we hope this will change your thoughts on your seatbelt use, your family's seatbelt use, impaired driving choices, and even just your attentiveness behind the wheel. Last year in Wyoming, nearly 3,500 people were arrested for DUI. Most of them never thought they would be caught, but then it happens. Let's say you drove drunk, did not crash, luckily did not kill anyone or yourself, but you are arrested. You are now a criminal in the law's eyes. It starts with jail time, embarrassment, lost employment, difficulty finding new employment, spending time in jail, being charged as a criminal, weekly probation meetings, treatment meetings, having your driver's license taken away, blowing into a breathalyzer every morning and every night, random drug tests, and explaining to your family what happened and why you have to do all of these things, why life is harder, etc. Oh yeah, and it costs around $10,000 on average. Imagine what you could do with an extra $10,000. So how long does a DUI sentence last? Well, typically, first DUI recipients that have a high breath alcohol content level end up ordered to three years of probation. The court orders people to not consume alcohol or be in the presence of alcohol or possess alcohol at any time. That's three years without beers. You wouldn't even have a chance to have a tear in your beer without risking being put back in jail. At Injury Prevention Resources, we know knowledge is power if we empower ourselves. What we are asking is simple. We want to challenge you about how you think about protecting yourself and your family, so please pay attention, wear a seatbelt, buckle children in, and drive sober. This has been Noel Cooper with Injury Prevention Resources asking for simple things. Wear a seatbelt, pay attention, and drive sober. Think about our lives, and as they say, don't go down that road. Thank you for watching our virtual traffic safety session. There's many more to come.